What up, it's Chris from LaserLemming.com, and superhero movies are on the rise. You might have noticed that there's a lot of them coming out. Back in the 90s and early 2000s, uh, superhero movies did exist, but uh, they often weren't good, and the good ones were few and far between. And the universes of these superhero movies usually did not collide. Uh, with the rise of Marvel and uh, their franchises, they really work to make sure that uh, these characters can uh, interact with each other and will interact with each other. They've really gone out of the way to make the comic book universe come alive with their films. So you got to give them credit for that. And DC and Warner Brothers, who owns DC, has uh, been following in their footsteps. That's why they have uh, things like uh, Batman vs. Superman coming out, and then the Avengers, and Wonder Woman, etc., 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 because they're all going to connect with each other. Now, like I said, there's a lot of these movies coming out. A lot. This year, we've got three. Not too many. Uh, we got three left, I should say. Uh, we got uh, Avengers, Age of Ultron, Ant-Man, and Fantastic Four. Avengers, that's going to be the big one. Uh, Avengers was a huge movie when it came out, and uh, this is going to be a huge movie, too. Not much to say beyond that. You've probably seen the trailer multiple times already. Ant-Man, that's with Paul Rudd. Who knows? The uh, big director, he dropped out of the project. And uh, who knows? Who knows? Who knows? The, the first trailer didn't inspire a lot of uh, hype for me personally, but maybe it'll be good. Maybe it'll be good. It'll be a more humorous take on a superhero movie. Next one, Fantastic Four. This is a reboot from Fox. And no, I have no interest in this movie. And uh, very few people, I think, I believe, are really excited for a Fantastic Four reboot. The primary reason this movie is being made is to fulfill contractual obligation in order to keep the franchise. Fox has to keep making these movies within a certain time frame in order to not lose the franchise. They don't want to lose out on a possible money maker. However, uh, they have a Fantastic Four 2 planned for, I believe, 2017, and if this one doesn't do great or well enough to uh, make that sequel seem like a, a necessity for Fox, I think I could easily see Marvel getting the keys back to this franchise. Not that anybody really gives a shit, but I could definitely see it happening. Okay, that's 2015. That's this year. Not too overloaded. However, let's look at 2016 for a second. We got Deadpool coming out in February. That's with Ryan Reynolds. You probably saw the uh, the test footage of that. It looks pretty good. Uh, but it's going to be a PG-13 Deadpool, which a lot, a lot of people aren't happy about. But that's going to be the game. That's going to be the game here. PG-13 all across the board, I think. I very much doubt we're going to see too many R-rated superhero movies coming from either Marvel or DC for a very long time. For a very long time. The age of uh, Blade and uh, Punisher are dead, especially after uh, Watchmen was not a huge success. Uh, they pretty much said no more R-rated superhero movies. So we got Deadpool. We got Batman vs. Superman coming out a month later. Captain America, Civil War, X-Men Apocalypse. Uh, we got Suicide Squad with uh, Will Smith, Gambit, which is an X-Men spinoff, Doctor Strange, The Sinister Six. That's a lot. That's a lot of movies. That's at least eight movies right there. Eight. Eight superhero movies. And let's see. Uh, Sinister Six, Doctor Strange, uh, Gambit, and um, that's probably a, a good number right there. Those are uh, three franchises that uh, most people don't know of. Gambit, you know, that's it's a spinoff. But uh, the name Gambit alone does not click with the major general audience. But we'll see. It's pretty much going to be an X-Men movie. But Doctor Strange and the Sinister Six, no, no. Uh, it doesn't have that immediate recognition. However, that's not the big point here. The big point is that there's too many of them. There's too many of them. And they've announced all these movies, uh, both Marvel and DC, because they're competing with each other. They want to outdo each other and just <laughs> get that fanboy hype going. Uh, they've announced all these movies, and I honestly think that... A lot of these movies are going to be delayed, or uh, their budgets are going to be slashed harshly, or a few of them might even get canceled. It's going to depend on things like uh, how well these movies do. And uh, I honestly think we're looking at the possibility, the very real possibility, of a superhero bubble that could pop.
pop at any time because they've overloaded. They've gotten overconfident in their product. And it's great that these movies have done so well and they're making a lot of money, but there's also the issue of overwhelming your audience. And when you have so many movies and so many sequels, there's so many people that are not going to see all of them because they're not going to have interest in all of them, yet they're working so hard to make them all tied together Avengers style, Justice League style, uh, Batman vs. Superman, which is essentially a Justice League movie style. You have all these movies that are working so hard to make their own connected universes that these people that aren't going to be seeing all these movies, they're going to want to see some of them less because they know that they don't know the full story because they never saw the sequels to one of the movies. You know, I've seen Thor, but I haven't seen Thor 2, which means I'm kind of apprehensive about seeing the Avengers sequel until I see Thor 2. I haven't seen Captain America 2, which is supposed to be a really good movie. So I'm apprehensive about seeing the Avengers sequel until I see Captain America 2. You know, that's just me, and I'm kind of a nerd. So if that's just me, imagine what the general audience is thinking. Maybe, you know, maybe they're thinking... Uh, they don't give a shit. They just want to see a superhero movie turn their brain off, whatever. You know, that's a lot of people. I mean, the Transformers movies have done very well for themselves, haven't they? So if you have that audience, great. But at the same time, you're overloading your boat here. You got too many movies coming out. You got too many. And eventually, people are going to get sick of this superhero uh, formula when you're just putting in their faces so often. You have so many origin stories. How often do we have to see uh, this tragic character's uh, downfall and then rise? How often are people going to uh, not get sick of that? You know what I'm saying? Uh, you have problems like Sony rebooting the Spider-Man franchise, and Marvel uh, wants to reboot it again. It sounds like Marvel might be getting Spider-Man back to a certain extent. Sony's still going to be making a lot of money off of it, sounds like, but Marvel's going to be doing what they want with Spider-Man, including uh, getting a new Spider-Man in, the, in the, the red suit. Uh, Andrew Garfield sounds like he's out. And so people are going to be seeing a new Spider-Man again, and, you know, they're going to slip in little bits of his origin story again. People get sick of that shit. People get sick of that shit. And then you have, you know, 2017 and 2018 and 2019 and 2020. All these movies have been lined up all the way up until 2020. And I think it's a very real possibility that we're not going to see all these movies that were announced. I think so. Because I think they are in a bubble, and I think they've gotten overconfident in their product. And it's not just movies. You know, we got uh, shows like uh, the Netflix shows coming out with uh, Daredevil, and uh, you have the Gotham show on Fox, and Green Arrow, and The Flash. And they all relate. And then you have the the uh, Avengers show. What is it called? Uh, Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. And then you have the Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. spinoff. And you know, you got to keep up with all this shit. It's just, it's just too much, in my opinion. It's just too much. And I think eventually this is going to bite them in the ass. But that's just my thoughts. Let me know yours in the comments section below. Uh, what do you think? Do you think it's a, a renaissance of uh, comics, superhero uh, comics and film? It definitely is in my opinion. But I think that uh, just like any great renaissance, you know, people can bite off more than they can chew. It's just too much in my opinion. But we'll see. We'll see. I, I don't know. I, I just personally think that as time goes on with sequel after sequel after sequel, spin-off after spin-off after spin-off, reboot after reboot after reboot, uh, the audience is going to get tired. They're going to move on. They're going to move on. But let me know your thoughts, comment section below. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you next time.